there's a few things we need to knock out before you go to like create your actual podcast and go to a like open the software to create your podcast and start recording and all those things you have to have a few things lined up first one of the things you have to do before you do any of those other things is your podcast needs a name you have to have a name for your podcast if you came to my studio and recorded audio and had it all ready to go and wanted to publish it I can't publish a podcast that doesn't have a name. Like it's the the software won't let me. So before you do that, before you get in and we tackle some of these steps like creating an account in Anchor and recording your audio and all that, you got to come up with a name for your podcast. We have some tips for you on how to do that because honestly for me that's like that can be one of the most intimidating parts because that's going to be the name of your podcast for a long, long time, unless you do a rebrand, which, you know, there's pros and cons to that. So it feels like it's something there can be this weight, like it's, I've got to get this right the first time, but I don't want you to overthink it. So here's a couple tips. Number one, clear beats cute. And what I mean by that is a simple title that explains you know, what the podcast is about is going to be better than something cute like, um, Okay, so my podcast is called Johnson City Living. So based on that title, what would you think it's about? It's about life in Johnson City, Tennessee, right? Uh, that's a clear title. A cute title would be, um, oh, let's see. So like Johnson City is, is called Little Chicago because, um, you know, there's rumors that uh, during Prohibition, there's a lot of bootlegging down here and all that stuff. So um, anyhow, it's called Little Chicago and... Uh, so let's see, like Little Chicago lore or, or you know, something like that. It's something cute like that. Uh, it's Is that really going to tell people very clearly and quickly who are maybe just scrolling through Apple Podcasts or Spotify looking for something to listen to? Is that going to tell people what my show is about if I call it like Little Chicago lore? Uh, no, I mean, it's not going to really nail it. So um, now, uh, by the same token, I've heard some great, some great names uh, that are that are cute and kind of playful, but if, for you sitting down today to start your podcast, I would recommend finding a clear way to say what you're doing on your podcast. Okay, so that's one. Clear beats cute. Um, that's one tip. Okay, another way to approach it is to think about results. So uh, my friend Drew Bedard has a podcast called Marketing That Works. So Drew's audience is people who own small businesses or who work for big companies but are in a marketing role and have to entice new customers and and you know dr generate interest about products and things like that so um, drew is speaking to those people and the results that he wants for those people that he's sharing information to create results for other people is he wants when those people set up their marketing he wants it to work for them uh, so he calls it marketing that works and you have a very clear picture of what you're getting when and what hopefully your results will be by taking in drew's content right okay another one is to another approach clear beats cute uh, think results and also uh, keep your keywords in mind and keywords are something you may not have thought a whole lot about keywords but um, uh, so the keywords are going to cover like the basic topics that you are talking about and, and want to be known for. Um, I used to be a financial advisor. There's a guy who is well known in the, in the financial advisor community. A guy, his name is Michael Kitsis and he has a podcast that he publishes weekly and it's called financial advisor success because Michael's whole brand is about like helping financial advisors become more successful through all kinds of things like, uh, through marketing and and business operations and and you know better service and all that stuff but if you google financial advisor success that's that's what's going to come up michael's podcast and his website are going to come up because he is zeroed in on those keywords so i'm a financial advisor sitting here in my office and i'm like god how do i you know what's the key to success for a financial advisor guess what's going to pop up Michael stuff. So you can think in terms of keywords uh, as a way to name your podcast too. Okay. So also in this lesson down at the bottom of this lecture, if you, if you read down, you will see uh, that we also need to come up with a description. So I can't publish a podcast that doesn't have a title or a name. I also can't publish a podcast that doesn't have a description because we need to tell 
you know, your, your listeners more about what your podcast is besides just the title. And so the description, uh, there's one guy I follow who says that the description shouldn't be more than 10 words. Now that is, that's intense. That's a process. And maybe somewhere down the road, we can get you down to like a 10 word description about your podcast. I tell people who come in here, our members, 30 words, 40 words. Um, You don't want too much. You want people who are, again, scrolling by or who search and find your podcast to get a quick taste of what your podcast is about and if it's for them. So that's what you want to communicate in your description. It's, it's almost like you know, the back of a book. So when you're in the bookstore, you see something that looks interesting, you pick up the book and flip it over or look at that inside jacket to get that description you know, that's not meant to tell the whole story. It's to generate your, is to generate some interest so that you'll say, I want, I want more of this and you dive into the full book. So that's what your description does. So now, you know, and after you read the the text down below, you'll know how to name your podcast and how to write your description. And you need to go ahead and do that before you get too much farther in this course. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready to create our account in Anchor. And this is where we're going to upload our audio and write our show notes and give our our episodes a title and this is where our episodes are going to live online and from here they're going to get distributed out to Google Podcasts and Spotify and Apple Podcasts and places like that. So Anchor is going to be our home base. So let's create an account here. So we'll go up to the top right corner and just say we want to sign up. Okay, so it's going to ask me for my full name. My full name is Leighton Hart. My email, Leighton at Avenue Planning Group. I'm using an old email account because Anchor will only let you have one podcast per email address. So I have to use a different email address than I would usually use. So let me throw in a uh, quick password here. Tell them I'm not a robot. And it looks like we are in. So now we have an Anchor account. Now you'll notice up here, it'll tell you that before you can publish any episodes, you'll need to verify your email address with Anchor. Um, And so now in my inbox, I should have an email from Anchor just saying, hey, please verify your account. And that's it. You now have an account on Anchor. You have a place where you can publish podcasts right now. Hey friends, today we're going to talk about how to create cover art for your podcast using a free app called Canva. But before we do that, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. That's that beautiful red button down below. Click that to subscribe to the channel and also click the little bell so that you'll get notified every time we drop a new uh, coaching video like this. So every time there's a new resource available to you, you'll get a little notification either through your email or on your phone. So go ahead and click that bell. All right. So like any great novel or any great album, your podcast needs great cover art. Well, how do we get cover art made? And what is cover art? So cover art is the little thumbnail image that will pop up when somebody searches for your show in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever they're looking for your podcast. It's the visual representation of your show. I'm going to show you how to do it for free, how to make a, uh, some art for your podcast for free online using Canva. Canva is an online graphic design tool. Uh, you simply go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, and after you create your free account, here's what you'll see. So you'll have a, a, a menu here. You're going to click Create a Design and go down to Logo. If you click Logo, it'll pop up a few things. So you will have uh, a blank slate that you can add to in the center of your screen or over here on the left-hand side of the screen. It's taken a minute to populate these, but there are some templates you can use. So check out all these cool templates you can use. Let's go back up here to uh, this cyclist chain. So obviously this is a preloaded template for a bike shop. Um, And so what you're gonna do is you select your template, you're gonna swap out these elements here for something that represents your show. So let's say, let's just click here and say that your show is called Chef's Corner, okay, and the subtitle is um, Tips for um, 
happy you're cooking. All right, so we wouldn't want these gears up here to be um, in chef's corner, would we? Because that doesn't make much sense. So we can delete those out of there. And if we can go over here to elements and search for an element that we might like to have. So uh, what is something? Let's just type kitchen in there and see what it brings up. Okay, so we got a couple spatulas, rolling pin, uh, whisk. Let's drop this whisk in here. There's our whisk, so we can actually shrink the size of our whisk here to that corner. Shrink that whisk down. Okay. So now we have our cover art for the Chef's Corner podcast, Tips for Happier Cooking. Now to grab this, we're going to go up here to the right, the top right corner, click Download, and it automatically, it'll default to a PNG image. You can select a JPEG image, a PDF, or whatever you need, but it'll default to PNG, which is great for, for your purposes. Click download, and it's downloading, and boom. In less than, what was that, two minutes or so? Less than two minutes, you've got great cover art for your podcast. I hope that's helpful. We will see you next time. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Let's keep this thing rolling. Click that box right there. It'll take you right to the next section of the course.